I have to make this video and I'll tell you why. I'm seeing a lot of new and interesting people enter the space selling information on becoming rich in crypto overnight. And I just want to kind of iron out everything and explain to you the most simplistic way to get involved in crypto and you don't have to spend any money. I'm just gonna give you information within 10 minutes. And this applies to anybody who's interested in entering the space. First of all, I wanna say two things. There's two types of investors in this world. There's a value investor, as Warren Buffett talks about, and there's traders. For the most part, you need to be a value investor. And if you hear anybody promising you about special formulas or techniques in the crypto space, they're lying. Listen, this space, I'm gonna be honest with you, this space is heavily manipulated, heavily, right? You have the miners that do their things, you have exchanges that do front running, you have insider trading for ICOs, pump and dump whales, you have all these different cogs in the machine that coerce together for increasing profits, pumping and dumping. So if anybody promises you a special formula or technical analysis or whatever it may be, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Second of all, crypto is not like stocks. There's nobody on the planet that's a specialist in everything in crypto. You have cryptography, you have blockchain distributed technology, uh, you have economics, you have human behavior, you have game theory, you have all these different applications involved in this ecosystem. So if anybody's coming to you and saying they know what they're talking about, I got this special, uh, special formula, please don't be bamboozled. So I'm just gonna state very simple facts for anyone to get involved. And when I mean by simple, I'm literally talking about how to buy two, 300 bucks worth of it, keep it, hold it, and forget about it. Because we're talking about value investing. Let me just move this. Yeah, we're talking about value investing. So step one, and primarily I'm talking to my audience in North America, so that's Canada and United States. So step one, if you are in Canada or United States, you can simply use the two exchanges. So Coinbase or CoinSquare. It's simple, you can use your credit card, yeah, the fee's a little bit high, but so what? You're not trading. And basically what I recommend, and I don't do price predictions, I don't do trading, I don't look at coins, I don't look at white papers, none of that stuff. What I, what I suggest is look at the big three. You go to Coinbase or CoinSquare, you look at Bitcoin, you look at Ethereum, and you look at uh, Litecoin. And basically what you wanna do is spend 10 minutes, sign up to that exchange, put your credit card information in, and buy 100 bucks of each Bitcoin, Litecoin or Ethereum. Okay, that's step one. Now, if you're not in the United States, you have many different options. You can go to your local exchanges. I actually have a link from Block Geeks below to determine which exchange is best in your country. If not, you have different options like local, local Bitcoin uh, or local whatever coin. They have different variations of that. But the whole idea is you're not trading, you're not looking to put in $500,000 at the beginning. You're just literally looking to get your toes wet, okay? So let's say you are in Canada or United States, you do Coinbase or CoinSquare, you buy $100 of each. The next thing you have to do is security. Now, I never ever recommend anybody to keep any crypto on any exchanges. I highly recommend that you get this little guy, a Ledger Nano, or you can get the Trezor. It really doesn't matter. The reason I prefer this, tell you the truth, it has nothing to do with software. I just like the UX, the design. It fits on my keychain, that's the difference, right? If you want a link for that, it's below this video as well. So you get that. Now, this is what you do. This literally takes five minutes to install. You plug it into your computer. It's gonna ask you for new configuration, click. And during the new configuration, you put in your password. And then it's gonna create a 24 word mnemonic seed phrase. Now this only shows up once. It's really, really important. You write this 24 word seed phrase down somewhere really important. Uh, whether it is on a piece of paper, then you laminate it, which I recommend, or you can use something to have a, a crypto steel from a, a ledger as well, or wh whatever you want. I've even heard people uh, uh, putting in titanium. doesn't matter. Anyways, you want to write this 24 word down, laminate it, and keep it in safe somewhere. Or even another way I recommend is you can now make a secondary copy where 12 words goes to a trusted source, and another 12 words goes to another trusted source. So God forbid that you actually lose your original copy. You can call these two people. They don't know they have the, the 12 words from each side and they come together and you can access it. So you plug this in 
you get your password, you put your 24 word seed phrase down and there you, it's done. You have a beautiful wallet online and basically you go to exchange, Coinbase or CoinSquare and you say withdraw. And basically you plug it in like withdraw to Bitcoin address, withdraw to Ethereum address and you put it on this little guy. That's it. That's investing 101. There's nothing more to it. You're not looking at daily prices. You're not looking at trading. You're not looking at any of this other stuff, okay? You're just getting your toes or feet wet inside this ecosystem. The whole idea of all these other people trying to sell you stuff is overcomplicating, very op overcomplicated. I, listen, I know all the traders in the space, at least the good ones. It's a full-time job. It is, it's no different than Forex. It's a full-time job. They know everybody in the space. They know how the space is manipulated. They know everything. So anyone's promising you something else, they're lying to you. There's no magic formula. There's no, I know the next coin's gonna be Bitcoin. None of that stuff exists. Nobody knows what they're talking about for the most part, except for a very select few who, have, who are the puppet masters in the space, okay? Now, that's it. See, it's not complicated. You buy a little bit, sit on the sidelines, and get involved. And then once you feel more comfortable, once you've gone through the process of buying a couple of hundred bucks, holding it for here, hodling as we say, putting on the side and forgetting about it, then basically what you do for the next part is up to you. What kind of risk, let's say tolerance do you have? Some people are high risk tolerance. So therefore, guess what? They're gonna invest more money. So if then if you're, if you're considering investing 10, 20, $30,000, I'd recommend OTC over the counter broker as opposed to the exchanges, at least depending on where you live. Uh, sometimes you'll get even a better exchange rate than the actual exchanges themselves and it's quicker uh, for KYC and AML with a broker. And depending on what your strategy is, for me, it's always long-term holding. I do zero trading. I don't even look at prices. I buy, I forget, it's like real estate in my mind. So depending on what type of risk portfolio you have, you'd buy more maybe Bitcoin, Ether, like, or whatever you choose to buy and then you sit on it, okay? That's the formula. It's no different than real estate, right? You see something that you know will appreciate in value in 10 years from now, and you understand the industry, you understand the neighborhood, you understand who's moving in beside you, and you buy it and you sit on it or you improve on it, okay? And that's my video for 2018 to begin with, is I just really wanted to clear the air when it comes to all these crypto investing specialized courses, and to for you guys to really understand you know, I love this space. I love 99% of the people in the crypto space and all of them have, this, you know, for the most part, the same ethos of moving forward and making humanity a better place. But I don't want to lie to you and say that this space is, is, you know, open. Meaning not, you know, what I mean by not open is the fact that there are players that manipulate the market, like no different than any market. Stock market, manipulated, yes. Real estate market, manipulated, for the most part, yes. Gold market, it is, there's a lot of case studies on that, right? So yes, there are people who are manipulating the market to increase value in their own pocket. Is that wrong? I'm not, I'm not here to judge, I don't know. But I'm just telling you this exists. So for you to come in and think you're gonna do this and that and someone's gonna teach you some magic formulas and all of a sudden you got your insider information and boom, you're a fucking millionaire tomorrow, please. Don't, don't be scammed into that. The people that made well in this industry first came in this for the culture and, and, and the promise of what this technology has to give to the world. They didn't come into this by saying, oh, I'm gonna become a millionaire. It's through their value added ecosystem and it's through them sticking through the ups and downs and the bear markets of losing a thousand percent, you know, happened twice. You know, they're, they're the ones that got rewarded. And remember, if you, if you go into an ecosystem, if you plan to be in the space for a long time, price and money is the last thing you should focus on. What you should focus on is long-term thinking, value adding, problem solving, and connecting yourself with the right players in the industry. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will try to be making more videos soon. I'll be, I'll be kind of busy during January, but if you have any comments or questions for me, leave a comment below this video, guys. Peace.